There's a lot going to be going on heading into the weekend. The need to know about how to dress for the weather for the next couple of days. Time lapse this morning. I hope you had your jacket on because it was a cool start, not a cloud in the sky. This is time lapse across the morning hours, and you can see uh, looking off to the north, no cloud covered then at least that direction. And well, they start temperatures in the mid 40s and already in close to the mid 60s. That winds will be turning more to the west as we get into the afternoon, picking up a little bit. The air is extraordinarily dry. I mean, dew points in some locations are even in the 20s. Some of the driest air we've seen since last winter. So this dry air and the west. Wind today and a south wind tomorrow are really going to warm us up. I mean, today is 80, tomorrow's 87. Maybe you don't want to see what's Friday. Okay, I'll show you. 50s. Yeah, this dramatic drop in temperatures with cold front brings also a cold drizzle rain and very windy conditions. So Friday dress completely different than Thursday because Thursday is going to be a summer like day. Satellite radar view again, not a cloud in the sky, but that's the front. This is the coldest air of the season. It's certainly going to bring the coldest air of the season for the Midwest and for us as well. I think by tomorrow morning we'll see that front just entering Oklahoma ahead of it on strong southwest winds and sunshine. We get into the upper 80s. Now, the record for the day is in the low 90s, so I think that's safe, but still a very warm day. We'll have to watch out for fire danger because of the dry conditions and the strong winds ahead of it out of the south, and then behind it, strong winds out of the north. Probably have some cloud cover as the day goes on and a little bit of drizzle now and then, and temperatures for highs. Only in the upper 50s. So, this is going to be a very chilly day on Friday. High pressure will build in, and on Saturday, we'll have sunshine. It will probably get to around 60 degrees, and then it looks like on Sunday will be 72. But the thing you need to know about Sunday, if you're a gardener like me, we could have our first frost of the season on Sunday morning with temperatures in the 30s inside the metro area. We have temperatures in the 30s in the outlying areas this morning. So, here's your extended forecast showing those light rain chances on Friday at 30%. And then a dry weekend. Now, if you're wondering about Halloween, we're going to be 80 degrees on Monday, and then another front comes through on Halloween. Trick or treat forecast calls for light rain chances and temperatures in the 60s.